I have the Google Pixel 8 here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to force it to shut down and then restart. And you should all be aware that this button combination will also work on the larger Pixel 8 Pro as well. Now, if everything is running smoothly, then you should always be able to bring up the power menu by pressing and holding down the power button on the side. From here, we can turn the smartphone off, reboot it, or begin the process of making an emergency phone call. But what happens if the software is unresponsive and nothing happens when we press and hold that power button? On older Android devices, we were always instructed to remove the battery to force the device to reboot. But smartphones and tablets these days do not come with a battery that can be easily removed. Now, if you have a recent Samsung Galaxy device, then you'll be told to press and hold the power and volume down buttons for 7 to 10 seconds. However, that doesn't do anything on the Google Pixel 8 series. So instead, we have two other options that we can do. The first quicker method is to press and hold both the power and the volume up buttons at the same time. And when both of these buttons are held down for seven to 10 seconds, then we will see the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro turn off. After a couple of seconds, that screen will light back up and the phone will begin rebooting back into Android on its own. If that method does not work for you, then a second option you can try is to just press and hold the power button for about 30 seconds. Now, when this is done correctly, it will take longer than the two button combination method that I just showed you. But in some instances, this second method does have a better chance of working, especially when the software has become unresponsive to all of the hardware buttons. So you can see this method will take longer, but as long as we're pressing and holding the power button down, after about 30 seconds, eventually, the phone will turn off and the screen will turn back on, just like before, as the phone attempts to boot back into Android. Personally, I have found that I rarely need to use this these days, as Android is usually running well enough to at least let me bring up the power menu. But that won't be the case for everyone, as there are going to be situations where the software is just completely bogged down and it cannot recognize or register any hardware button presses. So I hope this video is able to help you if such a thing ever happens to you.